episode two of Cannabis News, and here today we're talking about the LB and J paid situation. This situation has unfolded where we have seen that J paid is the actual founder and owner of Jokes Up. He is the one who has paid and just funded the whole venture and has made it so they have been able to see this this financial level but as we know lb is the face of it he is the one that has been able to make the connections and somewhat grow it to the level it's at in the hype way of course hype only means so much though at the end of the day you can only do so much with the hype and the word of mouth What really matters when you go to court or if someone was to sue the other person, what really actually matters is who's investing into that certain thing. There is a lot of proof that JPAID is the one who invested all of it. To be honest, it doesn't appear that LB invested anything besides time. So this leads us to a very weird situation where they're going back and forth and it is becoming this very chaotic situation where JPAID is even exposing LB for setting up his cousin. Long story short, you start playing out Makaias. Then that shit happened. All right, you ran up Makaias' credit cards like 40,000. You ran up his motherfucking bill on all his other shit for the hotels. He was paying for your hotels. He was paying for all the shit. Then you're going to try to line up Makaias. You're going to try to line up Makaias. You know what I'm saying? Then you make up these stories talking about Makaias hit the spot. This and this and this. Like, bro, who did what, bro? Who, Who really did? Like, who really the problem here, bro? For hitting his girlfriend and for doing many things that is just not what LB was trying to promote himself as which leads a lot of people to question is LB even anything he said he was to be honest it appears no it seems as if LB is definitely someone who's great at painting this picture of being that guy and being the flashy one that everyone wants to pay attention to when really Another man is funding his whole life, and another man is the one who is responsible for all the shine that he has. 40,000 on the build out. Like, what the fuck? My money. And I can show proof. The fuck you think you're talking about, bruh? Shit crazy talking about, I built this, I got the trademark, I got this. The only reason you got the trademark is because my nigga put up the bread, I put up the situation, and we got the situation, bruh. And then you finagle the nigga talking about, oh, put it in my name, King. Guess what, bruh? You ain't, I ain't tripping about your little finesse on the lame <laughs> trademark that you think you own, right? Because lawyers base trademarks and ownership off capital injections. Do your research. Lawyers base ownership off capital injections. You ain't invest nothing, Buster. I know what's up, bro. Like at the end of the day, I'm gonna deplete your ass down to ten percent, you little ambassador. The fuck you think this is, bro? Of course, this is something that I would need a lot of proof to back up if I want to say. So here's the proof. Yeah. Yeah, what, uh-huh, uh-huh, what, what, yeah, I guarantee nothing you get from LB gonna be that, because it's gonna be the middleman, middleman. Yeah, I grow this shit. Fuck you talking about 13,000 lights in partnership, 5,000 I own. Fuck you mean, bro. Just say whatever you want, bro. You tripping on some little, you know what I'm saying? Not even tripping. So when everybody want to say this, yo, say that. Just remember, there's always someone in the background that's really kicking up the dust. And that's all I got to say. I don't say my part. I own the brand. LB got partnership. The Thank fuck? You. So everybody go tell LB to run a check. He ain't got no money. Scott got the money. He ain't got no money. 
I bought all the chains. And just so you know, LB never bought motherfucking 50 jokes or runch chains. That's a gimmick. Straight up. He bought Burner's chain and two other chains. Nobody else's. He told all the homies, oh, you want your chain? You got to go spend 5500 from Xena. You got, yeah. And then that 5500 it only cost 4100 And then it really only cost like 3600 But at the end of the day, bro, all y'all busters, I mean, any of y'all weird dick pullers that went and hopped on the LB train, I don't care. Straight up, all y'all busters. All y'all was already dick pullers. All the other real ones, tap in. I'm not tripping. I would never expose none of my homeboys, none of my real ones, ever. It's to the grave, but this buster, hey, you the one that went to the internet, bro. You the one that went to the internet, bro. I, I've been telling you, link up, link up, link up. Okay, King. Now, nah, Ice Cream Sacramento already closed. <laughs> that shit closed three months later. That shit was the pettiest dispensary that I batched flavors to that didn't get a check from. These motherfuckers owe everybody. They owe, they owe like 15 different distros. These motherfuckers getting sued. They got leans towards the business. Come on, reefers. Where is that? Line it up. Turn down nothing. Or the state has a tax lien on it for six figures. Straight up. Now, Runs and Fire Society got that dope. The people behind Runs and Fire Society got that shit. I don't know what y'all talking about. But LB got that re rock. If you want to know the truth, the real Runs, the real Runs, fire. The problem with Runs, LB's re rock. That fool go re-rock any type of packaging he could get. He going to sticker farmer re-rocking every little fucking bag he could get. But the real runts? Yeah, the real ether? Yeah, that's him. Hemothy. Real shit. For real. I don't know what you're talking about, you know? Like, the real runts? The real fire society? Dope. <laughs> LB runts? You get anything from that lame. It's middleman cat. For real. And you paying the high. Fuck out of here. <laughs> so just so y'all know, the real runs, the real ether, the real fire society, that's because that came from the real source. Oh Yeah, grunts too. Yeah, shout out to Big Al. They just going crazy. That had the shit. For real. The real one too. Shit, because that, that's me. Me and JR, yeah, shout to JR, he got the real one. All that shit. When you you fucking with the source, you got the dope, but you fucking with the middleman, you get middleman. LB ain't made no strain. LB ain't got a strain. LB promote King's Cut and DNA because that's the ones he getting paid off of. He getting paid the most off of DNA and Princess Cut. DNA and Princess, not Princess Cut, DNA and King's Cut. And DNA and King's Cut is runs and different lemon cherries. And they all, none of them is consistent. You go to the motherfucking store, you don't get all lemon cherries. No, LB don't know how to grow. As you see, this is definitely a very weird, unfortunate situation. You'd see in this photo right here where he is actually exposed for hitting his girlfriend. This photo is the girlfriend sending a photo of herself and as you see this doesn't happen just randomly this is definitely something that is definitely gonna put a big stain on LB as a businessman as a middleman or whatever you want to call him to be honest this is definitely something that will expose people to the truths of the game and honestly at the end of the day this isn't just LB. This is something that is going to be very common for people to find out about your favorite plug, especially the ones that are running around posting photos of their chains and 
just only speaking about how much they can make because at the end of the, at the end of the day the ones that are truly passionate about the plant and doing it properly don't have time to brag to you how much they've made off this or to fantasize about this and that because those material things don't really matter and those material things could blind you enough to make you think that doing stuff like this is okay so what do you think do you think that lb's right or do you think that jpade's right to be honest i think that they're both wrong i think that they're both in the wrong for doing the clients so dirty that they created a brand called jokes up where it's just a whole joke playing the customers and treating clients like custies but what do you think do you think either of them's wrong or do you think that they're both just fools for taking this route it's up to you guys i think that the people's opinion somewhat matters more than what's right and i hope we can change that